In this video, we'll be discussing how to bring the Pixel Control System to construction mode. Let's start by going over things to consider when choosing the location for your Pixel Control System. Place the control system logically, taking into consideration all elevator system components and non-elevator equipment sharing the space. Provide adequate working space for the control system installation, wiring, and maintenance. Elevator control standard equipment enclosures require front access only. This eliminates many constraints that would otherwise limit how the equipment can be located. Provide adequate lighting for safety and efficiency. Remember that a successful installation and reliable, trouble-free operation of all elevator control equipment depends on proper assessment of the installation environment and proper wiring methods. Completing both correctly protects equipment from disruption by external sources. Now let's review some guidelines for wiring the pixel control system. Note that factory knockouts are provided for ideal wiring entry points. There are five wiring entry points provided to ensure proper system operation. Starting from the lower left, main line power, which include line power and ground from the elevator disconnect. Next on the lower right, we have the motor and brake, which includes power wiring to the motor, brake, and ground. Note that both the motor wiring and main line power knockouts can be interchanged in use. On the middle right, we have safety logic, wiring to all fixtures and switches. On the middle left, we have the encoder feedback. This wiring provides the motor performance information from the encoder to the drive for speed control. And last, on the top right, the communication cables. These cables run from one controller to another in a multi-car group system. Keeping all this in mind, let's now go to the Pixel Main Processor Board, PMP, to go over how to enable construction mode. In construction mode, the Pixel does not require the Lambda selector feedback and can be operated in either car top or machine room inspection mode. To begin, place the Pixel control system on machine room inspection. Next, using the Pixel touch and go knob, select the install menu and then scroll to and select construction mode. Press the enabled label soft key push button and construction mode is now activated. Press the Help Label push button to bring up a window showing all the jumpers required to run on construction. Press the Home push button to return to the main window. Now we will go over to the QR1 page found in the Pixel Control System prints. This quick reference page contains a checklist of all the jumpers required for running on construction mode. In the middle of the page, you will see three boards which are used to represent the three terminal boards found on the Pixel Controller. First we have hoistway terminal board, next the machine room terminal board, and then the car top terminal board. On the hoistway terminal board, we want to install a jumper from 4A to all the door locks, DLAT, DLSF, DLAD, and to DLSR if you have rear intermediate locks. Then we want to install a jumper to our hoistway safety stream from SAFC to SAFH. On the machine room terminal board, we want to wire up the governor overspeed switch between 4A and GOV. And on the car top terminal board, we want to wire the stop switch from 4A to SAFC, the inspection switch from 4A to ICT, and the enable up and down buttons from 4A to ICTE, ICTU, and ICTD. Then wire your car gate from 4A to CGF and CGR if you have a rear car gate. The final step now to get the car moving is to perform a motor auto tune and verify all the drive parameters. This process can be found on our next video presentation.